After the Bulls won their third consecutive championship in 1993, MJ winning his third straight finals MVP, and with the recent passing of his father, MJ will retire from the NBA, shocking the entire world. Everyone knows exactly what the circumstances are right now in terms of uh, my decision not to play the game of basketball uh, in the NBA. Doesn't mean I'm not going to play basketball somewhere else, but uh, I've talked to all my confidence, uh, my, my family, my friends, as uh, Jerry has just uh, informed you, uh, to the organization. Uh, I even talked to David uh, Stern as of yesterday and even today, and uh, I'm very solid with my decision of not to uh, play the, the game of basketball uh, in the NBA. Reasoning being, I've heard a lot of different speculations about my reasons for not playing, but I've always stressed to people that have known me and the media that has followed me that when I lose uh, the sense of motivation and the sense of to prove something as a basketball player, uh, it's time for me to move away from the game of basketball. For diehard Jordan fans and sneakerheads, maybe a panic? Jordan isn't playing, so does that mean no more Jays? Well, even though Jordan wasn't playing on the hardwood, does this mean that his shoes would not make an appearance as well? Though MJ wasn't playing, Nike would still make the Jordan 9 and give PEs to Penny Hardaway, Mitch Richmond, Kendall Gill, and BJ Armstrong. for the start of the 93-94 season. That season, Nike would put out a number of commercials with the fictional character, Johnny Kilroy, who supposedly scored 79 points in one quarter. You remember that Kilroy commercial? No, I don't think I recall. Oh, let's look at this real quick. Good evening, America. I'm Steve Martin. A few months ago, the world was shocked by Michael Jordan's retirement. It's time for me to move away from the game of basketball. Three weeks later, I received a mysterious package from a fan of the Billings Bandits. Dear Steve, this guy Motorboat Jones looks a lot like Michael Jordan. When I spoke of this on a national talk show... At first I think it's just another coup, but then I, then I realized it actually could be Michael Jordan. The floodgates opened. Incredible stories of exceptional basketball players. Players who all uncannily resembled... Michael Jordan. Then, this audio tape turned up. Yeah, I faked my retirement, so what? I don't think that was him. He didn't come back yet, but he's thinking about it. I don't think he faked his retirement. You know, with that guy, you never know what he's gonna do next. You can't blame the man. The man just wanna play the game. Did Michael Jordan fake his retirement? In the second half, I will show you the popcorn tape. The tape someone doesn't want you to see. Is Kilroy Jordan? Uh, I don't want to answer any questions about Kilroy. What are you afraid of, Coach Jackson? This? December 20th, a routine game, Bulls versus Hornets. The only recorded evidence of this game is a fan's home video, the popcorn tape. On this night, an unknown player, Johnny Kilroy, scores 79 points in only one quarter of play. Johnny Kilroy? Or a cleverly disguised Michael Jordan? Alonzo, take us back to that strange night. Well, Steve, I was standing about right here. The cure word cuts through the lane and dunks right over me. The only person who could have made that move was Michael Jordan. That was Jordan, all right. Kilroy is Jordan. Conclusion, Michael Jordan, the greatest basketball player of all time, is letting nothing stand in the way of what he loves to do. And that's just play basketball. Though the Jordan 9 is the first Jordan he would never wear on the Bulls, he will wear the cool gray 9s later on in his career on the Washington Wizards. We found some images of other NBA players wearing Jordan 9 PEs. And have images of LeBron James wearing a St. Vincent St. Mary PE when he was in high school. Nike would even make Jordan 9 baseball cleats for MJ when he was playing for the Birmingham Barons. And we can't forget about the Jordan 9 Barons. The original price at release was 125, 
And the color race was the OG white and black, the UNC, the black and olive, and the black and red. Was you messing with the nines when they came out? Absolutely. Yep. The OG colorways, fire. Um, I have some nines. They're boot-like. They're definitely heavy. Space bootish. Yeah, <laughs> not space bootish, but they're definitely boot-like. I don't, you know, I wouldn't imagine they would be the most comfortable shoes to hoop in, but the colorway was fire. I like the execution of it. What about the Jordan 9 boots? You rocking with those? <laughs> no. Nah. I like them all black ones with the gum bottom. Mm -hmm. Maybe not to wear, but I think they're pretty dope. I didn't really pay attention to the nines because Jordan wasn't playing at the time. But when they put out the picture of him in a North Carolina outfit with the North Carolina nines, I had to get those. <laughs>